Hello my soccer universe. Well, in case you're not aware and most likely you're not, this is video 999 since I restarted exactly two years ago from today that I'm recording this uh, one day later than what I'm posting it. So just putting out the number 1000 will celebrate that fact that I'm now regularly YouTubing for um, two years. I have done it I think in 2015 or right until my younger daughter got born which then completely is <laughs> the life changed totally there but I'm seriously following it now again so just something special is gonna come tomorrow also if you see some life here since this room is under the roof and it's getting kind of summery and warm I have the fan on so that's kind of the fan blowing here I hope the fan doesn't make too much bad sound I will see it in the editing video what to watch and I think this is the first what to watch where we can truly say yes soccer is back COVID-19 is over yeah we still don't have fans in the stands although what I saw from La Liga the fake fans uh, it's they are wonderfully done I mean uh, what a feat of programming of just putting some random thing over the seat and it doesn't look strange at all especially when you have empty seats and suddenly you can see that and the empty uh, you know empty seats I mean they're not uh, if they're like I saw with Leganes or Espanol they put it over the blue because they only replaced the blue seats and then there's the white seats and you can still see because those are then empty stupid stuff I it should be a video, video up, up until itself let's start in La Liga and I'm going now through the order that I usually do uh, we actually start on Monday and this is the first time that I'm doing a midweek video where I include Mon Monday games because of the crazy uh, scheduling there is a Sevilla place at Levante which is maybe uh, all, all rightish but there is an Andalusian derby between uh, Betis and Granada if I look further Barcelona against Leganes should be an easy win but it's the Martin Braithwaite game I want to point out Alaves Real Sociedad on Thursday I think looks interesting um, it's one Basque derby there's another Basque derby between Eibar and Bilbao on Wednesday and the big one of course Thursday evening Real Madrid Valencia so plenty to look forward to I'm gonna do the La Liga DOS now too but uh, to be honest I probably will drop the second league I, I might continue with the, um, the second Bundesliga because that's the one I can watch I don't have any way of watching these I just put the games out there the biggest surprise coming next week is that we have the Premier League back and with what nice games to be honest uh, especially at least one uh, Villa against Sheffield United is interesting because uh, that's two promoted teams, one doing very well and the other one still struggling down there. Fortunately, the bigger name is the one still struggling down there, at least from what I think is the bigger name, which is Est Villa. But City against Arsenal, that's a nice game to go, come, come back. Should be rather one-sided if the, uh, the form of pre-Covid is anything to go by with. But still, it's a big name game, so I'm looking forward to that one. The Bundesliga also has a midweek round and Bayern can clinch the title in Bremen, but Bremen needs the points too uh, badly. Gladbach Wolfsburg is interesting because this is the former Salzburg as the former Lask coach uh, and also has quite some implications for European spots, so that's a, a big one. Um, speaking of rele relegation, you know, um, I'm looking here, this is Bremen, Düsseldorf, and Mainz are the ones that are kind of fighting for each and all have pretty tough draws. Mainz has to play in Dortmund, Düsseldorf at Leipzig, although Leipzig at home has been dropping points like crazy so that will be interesting and Leverkusen Köln, Köln doesn't look safe yet and that's a derby, that's a derby that uh, they are probably not favored. Um, speaking of not being favored, Dynamo Dresden has a makeup game against Bielefeld on 
uh, Monday evening. They are surely not favored there. And then Bielefeld plays three days later on Thursday <laughs> against Darmstadt, at which time I think they can wrap up their title uh, if they should get two wins there. The other promotion uh, teams are uh, Hamburg is playing Osnabrück and Stuttgart against Sandhausen. A huge game is Wiesbaden against Nürnberg due to recent results. They are more or less uh, level and Wiesbaden has a shot. As does Dresden and Nürnberg does not look safe and that would be a shame if Nürnberg goes all the way down. Now I'm wearing Juventus and that means we have the Coppa Italia final between Juve. Yeah, and I'll make a video on that. And the game just finished Napoli, so kind of an interesting one, and that's the first uh, huge title in any of the big ones given out. Although, as I said, Bayern could win the Bundesliga the day before, so let's see about that. But I, I decided I'll put on this beautiful Juve jersey from the early 90s, back when Juve still had uh, Juve like jerseys. I mean, this jersey to me is an absolute, absolute beauty. What I have to say? Well, current, the current one I had two or three times the chance that I am actually buy it and I always stop myself at the last minute so that's a good one there's also Serie B with one makeup game between Ascoli and Cremonese again same thing goes for uh, La Liga dos I probably will not continue uh, with those because it's just way too much work and it costs and takes a lot, a lot of time time that I currently do not have if I had lots more sub subscribers and I could actually live off my YouTubing and not only use it as therapy, that would be a different story, but I think I will stay with the first leagues, although probably will keep the second Bundesliga. In Portugal, we also have the title race continues, and this time Benfica faces the slightly harder task away to Rio Ave, Porto plays on Tuesday at Aves, who are our bottom dwellers. Um, Family Cow Braga on Friday, but that's already Friday, I'm not going to include that, it's probably the one that is inter most in interesting there. And in Austria we also have a midweek round, and what shall I say, I think for European spot all the contenders, I mean Hartberg Rapid is probably one that uh, Hartberg needs to win if they want to stay in there, that would be a sensation, Wolfsburg needs every point. And I hope that Lask, uh, that uh, Salzburg is taking points from them and then Lask plays against Sturm and this is a must win and I'm not saying anything more. So that's the menu. Six countries already that I'm, six countries that I'm covering. I mean there are more countries playing but yeah, sounds quite interesting I would say. Let me know which games you'll be watching. I mean I... I will for sure watch the Coppa Italia final, although then at the same time there is um, the Premier League. I probably will watch a little bit of Bundesliga and so on and then with Austria. It becomes a mess a little bit. I have to pick and choose, but Coppa Italia final, since it's a trophy, probably gonna watch that for sure. And let's see about last, but they clash as far as I see it, yeah, they clash. So let's see how it goes. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon with video number 1000 celebrating two years. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.